Hi, hi, hello! Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to one of three vlogs I'm starting right now. I have said this already, but you know. Anyway, so for this vlog, I shall be reading which order? These books. Now, I know there's a third book coming out at some point, but I don't know when. I'm guessing next year because I think this was last year and this was this year this is making so much sense anyway um both have fancy sprayed edges um this one is signed by the author oh hello have i looked at this before i don't know signed by the author will i still be taking it yet yes i will um, is this one signed? I don't think this is signed. Ooh, hello. I'm loving it. No, this is not signed. Anyway, so I have the final strife and the battle drum. Do I know what these are about? No, I do not. Um, I think there's something about like the native... Native languages? What is in my brain right now? Not... I don't think it has anything to do with languages. I mean, maybe it does, but uh, I don't think that's the point of it. So, these are words I cannot pronounce. Okay, the Akhtibar, a set of trials held every 10 years to find the next Ember rulers of the Empire, is about to begin. All can join, but not just anyone can win. It requires great skill and ingenuity. Eh. To become the future Ember, Wardens of Strength, Knowledge, Truth, and Duty. Sila? Sila. I don't know. Sila was destined to win the trials and become Warden of Strength. Stolen by blue-blooded rebels as an infant, she was raised with a duster's heart, forged as a weapon to bring down the Empire from within. Interesting. When her adopted family were brutally murdered, those dreams of a better future for all turned to dust. But Sila wasn't made to sparkle. She was born to burn, and the trials draw near. It's time for her to decide. Will she rule the Empire or destroy it? Oh, okay. Battle ready. I don't know if I'm uh, in the mood to read these kinds of books right now. But I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Um, yeah, I I shall be starting this book, these books, these books at some point during the next couple of weeks. Um, I mean, it will be a second for you <laughs> when the next update comes. But yeah, I don't know. I do want to finish finish these before Yalk. I at least want to have finished this one and have started this one. But we shall see. Um. We shall see. Depends on my reading mood, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, these are these books. See you in a bit. Ignore all this. I just had a shower. Jeez, I'm looking pale. Anyway, I wanted to update. So, let's take this off because I only really put it on because I needed something to show because <laughs> showing this is like yeah um, also I've not updated until now and mm, I'm getting close to half the book so I'm about to start chapter 20 I'm about to start chapter 21 so so this story reads so not that it's a bad thing though because we're getting all the information but not like it's thrown at us or like we have to go hunting and we get like one sentence every other chapter um so it's it's a good slow it's a good slow don't get me wrong i also just woke up woke up got in the shower and this is good morning <laughs> This society is super weird, but 
I'll read the back of it here because it explains it a lot better than I could try to memorize. So, red is the blood of the elite, of magic, of control. They are the embers. Blue is the blood of the poor, of workers, of the resistance. They are the dusters. Clear is the blood of the servants, of the crushed, of the invisible. They are the ghostlings. Ghostings. I keep wanting to put an L in there. Did I just have a lot of stuff on my face? Possibly. I'm eating breakfast at the same time. Don't mind me. So, as I understand it, the ghostings are also, they've like had their tongue removed or cut, divided in some way that they can't speak. So, they sign. But also, I think they had like three hands to start with and not, which I don't understand. Because there was this bit where, um, oh, what's her name? Oh, I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. Sila. So there's this bit where Sila finds a picture of what she thinks is before everything happened. The, um, the empire that she knows came to be. Um... And there was something about the ghostings having three hands. Which confused the hell out of me. <laughs> but okay. Um, I don't quite understand it because it says they don't have any hands. But also they sign. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure how all that works. Maybe I'll understand later. Who knows? Maybe I'm just confused. Because it's, uh, uh, it's a fantastical world. Let's say that. Um, not fantastic, but fantastical. Because the world, in its sense... I mean, for the Embers, sure. It's quite okay. It's, I mean, not all of them are rich and stuff, but they do have a certain advantage in life so a long time ago there was this there was this thing called the sandstorm so the sandstorm is basically this group of people a resistance as it were but they um they stole children or they exchanged children rather so they went to ember houses the red bloodeds uh, and exchanged their babies for blue budded babies. Uh, now, as it said, these stolen babies, the blue blooded babies, uh, when they were found out, they were killed. Uh, and the red babies were uh, then raised in this like uprising kind of environment. They were trained to then go into the government as like as the dusters but they have red blood <laughs> they have red blood but they're raised as dusters so dusters at heart and they they've been trained to go into said government and take over basically it's an uprising from within kind of a deal now, like six years ago or so, all of them were killed. Well, not all of them. Sila survived somehow, and she's now taken to drugs. <laughs> so in, when we come in in the story, she's like full-on drug addict. And a bit of a drunk. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't you be after having, like, basically your whole family taken away from me? Because they are raised as a family, in a way. Yeah, she's, uh, she's full-on drug addict mode. 
drug addict mode. Ad addiction? Oh. Speech impediments! <sighs> Hard. Anyway, we get on with things and she meets... I want to say her name is Anor. Anor? So... I can't really explain the, the whole government system, but basically they have what is called as wardens and they are like the leaders of certain, um, I guess, abilities and stuff because they have, um, let's see if I can remember, they have strength, that's all I remember. They, they, they have like different areas. <laughs> Strength is one I remember because that's the one we're focusing on. So it's like, I want to say like truth and knowledge and stuff like that. So um, basically it's like for strength and healing and learning. Remember, I... Wow. Don't listen to me. <laughs> it's so bad when I don't remember all the essential facts but who cares I guess someone do but eh anyway so it just so happens that so the the mother uh, Leo who is sort of like a mother to Sila she tells her that uh, her child was exchanged for the Warden of Strength child who just so happens to have have been or was supposed to have been biologically is Sila. So Sila is biologically the Warden of Strength child and she goes to like look into this warden of strength child that's like out for the public um she's wondering basically she's wondering why is this person alive because they killed off all the blue bloods so anor is the warden of strength's daughter for the public basically and um Sila goes to her room to Anor's room just to like figure it out Anor takes Silas hostage and eventually lead to another and they kind of make a deal that um Anor is gonna teach Sila how to um blood trace I think it's called basically do the magic with the blood um and Sila is going to teach um, Anor how to battle, basically. So, yeah. There's information missing there, uh, but it's fine. <laughs> There's loads of minor details that I'm kind of leaving out, because otherwise I'll be telling everything. And yeah. I mean, I probably will in the end, but so far... I'm really liking it. Uh, I mean, it's going slow, and I'm curious to see how it will all end, especially book one, and we have book two already here. It's over there, the battle drum. It's blue, and then I know there's a book three coming, but I don't think it's until next year, so we'll see about that. Uh, but I'm loving it so far. Um, it's definitely a different kind of pacing to like what I've been reading. Yeah. Um, that's it, I think, for now. That was a long rambling. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then get ready for work because it's a working day today. Well, final strife, the battle drum. Definitely nowhere along the lines what I expected. I kind of expected there to be like loads of battles or something. And I mean there's some fighting, there's some training, 
but there's not battle upon battle upon battle which is kind of the vibe I was getting from it which is also kind of why I wasn't like the most eager to pick them up I'm glad I did because there's there's so much to it there's like a murder mystery plot there's a mystery seeking the history of of everything because so in the first one we're kind of like set in this tiny island let's say and in the second one they kind of venture out uh into what they call the mainland uh but it's like so much bigger than that um it's it's bigger than anyone imagined i imagine <laughs> the way we're like bit by bit figuring things a lot out along the way and kind of getting like the clues to figure out basically um it's very interesting well what can i say it's a very interesting read it's definitely a slower one so <sighs> don't expect like fast pace i mean it's easily read and you can read it quite fast in that aspect but uh the story progresses quite slowly but it's interesting that they, they have some fun characters and there's some things um that i don't quite understand yet um and i'm not sure if it's just a trilogy so there's one more book i know there's at least one more book but i don't know if that's like the end of it um we'll see i don't have all the information the internet tells me only so much <laughs> so we'll see we'll see um but i'm excited for it i'm actually quite excited for it i'm also like wondering what color will i have because red blue i don't know i don't know yellow maybe because um i'm going by like the color of the blood so the red the embers um are in the first book they are like very much end all be all basically and the blue bloods are the servants but they're, they're quite important as well i'm feeling yellow you're gonna have to read it to find out why i want to say this though because there's a character in book two which oh it's so clear this character is delusional like a madman and i want to know what's gonna happen what are they going to do it's gonna be intense honestly i can't really say much more about it without like literally spoiling the whole book um or books rather uh so i'm just gonna say that and i'll uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye-bye.